Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. It's a beautiful day out here. It's a lot warmer. Definitely a lot better day. It's probably the best day I've seen in a long time. It's probably been about 65 degrees here, and the rain's actually stopped. It's been very beautiful. Uh, me and Kim, we've cooked, cleaned, <laughs> we've done about everything that you could think of, and we've had a ball here. And I really enjoyed being here. Kim and her family have been absolutely wonderful hosts, as usual. I mean, me and Kim, I mean, she's like, yeah, absolutely. She's just wonderful. So if you want about Kim Fisher, she's an amazing person. Absolutely beyond belief amazing. Skyler's been amazing. He's pretty much been my shadow. It's get to where now he wants me to just go sit beside of him and just sit there and just play with him. That's what he wants. So it's been great, and we've had a good time. I'm sorry I ain't been able to do two videos, but the Internet is a lot different here from where it is home. It's very slow, and it's really hard to get these videos to upload. And it takes a long time, so, and I just ain't had the time since I've been on vacation. And I think I've got two more days here. I fly back in Monday, so definitely keep me in your prayers. But it looks like we're going to get some good weather tonight. I mean, it looks really nice. I hope everything's going to be no more rain for at least tonight, at least, because that's all it's done here is pour the rain. It's soaked. The ground is literally like mush here. Now, I want to get on here because this Texas thing has become really huge. Uh, Lisa Boyce just called me and I was just here talking to her in the driveway and she has asked me about it because I know she was doing a program and I was actually didn't I was actually doing a program when she called uh, talk, going to talk about this Texas thing because it's big now we've got all these other states signing on including my state and Tennessee and Ohio which is where Lisa lives so we've got all these states now signing on to send their National Guard to Texas which is a big deal now here's where we're going to go down a rabbit hole. Now we know, and by the way, I don't know if Lisa mentioned this, but she just had another rapture dream. Her rapture dream was the exact rapture dream that I had years ago. The exact, exact one. Exact rapture dream I had. She just saw it. Now, this April 8th thing, this eclipse that goes off, and I know you've been listening to Sister Gigi. She's done an amazing job on this information. Gigi's got this covered. Her and Brother Aaron at God Amen has always got this covered. But Gigi's really been all over this there at Blue Heaven. But literally, it's going to put an X over America. Now, it's not coincidence that this event that we're watching today is happening before that April 8th. Listen to me very clearly. It's not coincidence. God was warning us about this event coming, which is happening right now before our very eyes. Biden threatened Abbott that he had to today to cut that wire down, and Abbott's not going to do it. So now we've got all these other states sending their National Guard to Texas. Now, here's where we're going to go down a rabbit hole. Now, we know God's warning us about putting next over America on April the 8th, and he's already gave me two dreams about the April 8th, and Kim Fisher had one years ago. She never understood it. She saw an hourglass sideways with a number eight at that eclipse. Now, she saw it in Egypt. Well, this happens to where the solar eclipse goes over Little Egypt in America. Kim did not know that, and she saw that two years ago. People, God's been warning us that these events are coming. But if you really want to go down a rabbit hole, this could be a looky over, look over here. Now, our enemies know exactly what's happening in America right now and how bad it's falling apart. This right here is a time where literally the whole world's watching America, and we can be hit. Because while we're fighting with each other, which I think is completely designed by another foreign power to have this happen, this is not coincidence. We all know for the last three years, America has there's something wrong. Something's been running America, and it's not our government. It's something else happening. Like I said, Lucifer is on the prowl, and he's setting up his pieces. Now, to have the Psalms 83 war happen, America has to be gone. Psalms 83 war cannot happen with the big brother protecting Israel. It has to disappear. That's why I said uh, God has taken his hands off America. It's gone. Because now we're at the end of time. This is what I just talked to Lisa about. People don't understand. We've just hit that point of the next event being the rapture of the church. People can't get the concept of it. They can't understand that the world is coming to an end. And it is. The rapture of the church is any time from here on. And that's why we're on here day, every day, to remind you of that, because we know how much little time we have. Even me on vacation, I'm on here each and every day, at least try to put one video out to let you know 
this event's coming, and it is. You know, it's very important that we know and get as many people on that arc as possible because we do not have limited time. That's why even one of the reasons I came here to see Skylar, because I know we have limited time. That's why I came here, because Skylar sees a lot of things and hears a lot of things. That's one of the main reasons I came here. And Kim, Kim's the same way. I was wanting to see if we got something, you know, amazing while I was here. And we're still waiting to see what happens. But all these things that are coming, we know we have limited time. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future, died and was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. I know right now you're tired. I am too. We all are. But we're getting ready to leave here. God's given us plenty of signs that something's coming in April. Now, we don't know what that is yet, but it's not coincidence that what we're seeing today is happening before that deadline of that X being drawn over America. Do I think it's the rapture? No. I don't know what it is, but I do know this. It could be. We just don't know. But I think God's warned us enough of an event that's coming. And I think that's why he placed that solar eclipse there on that date. It's a warning for us to know that, the, that our time is coming to an end. Listen, we don't have to be here much longer. And with all the signs, we definitely know we're in the season. We're all having the rapture dreams. We're all seeing the solar eclipse event. All these things that are happening in America, these are not coincidences. This is all setting up the tribulation that is to come. We know the signs. It's all there. All these foreign powers that are looking at this incident and ready to strike us. America is the weakest it's ever been in its history is right now. And these foreign powers know that. Now, we know World War III is coming. I've seen it. We leave somewhere in this Gaza war. I went back through Amos last night. I was reading. Go into Amos 1 and read from there. It talks about the fire on the wall in Gaza. So I want you to go into Amos. Go into Amos 1. Start there and go all the way up to Amos 9. Do that for me. And tell me what you all come up with. Because I'm telling you, it's exactly the events that's happening today. But in that time in Amos, from 1 to 9, Jesus says he's going to put a famine on the earth. Not of drink and not of food, but the gospel will not be able to find, be found. That's us leaving. That's the rapture of the church. When I read this, even the incident about them finding the Jewish people and the hostages, it's all there in Amos. It's all there. If you read Amos, it's going to make the hair stand up on your head. I've read through it and read through it trying to get some kind of grasp, grasp of maybe when the rapture, if there's an event. It talks about Damascus. Now, Damascus is playing a huge role right now. That's where all the weapons are going in from Iran into Syria. It talks about that name too. It's all there. Damascus, Gaza, the wall of Gaza. It talks about the rapture of the church in Amos. It's all there. Read it for yourself. It's amazing what's in there. That's why we, we, we know we're in the last season. Many people are going to tell you, and Satan will always tell you, you've got plenty of time, but you don't. That's why we're all these watchers, we're all coming together in these last days, because we know where we're at. And we're trying to get as much information to you guys to know where we are so we can make sure that we're as, as correct as we can be. Now, we don't know, none of us are going to know when the rapture is. But here's the thing. We know we're in the season because the Bible says when you see these 4,000-year-old prophecies start to take place, to look up. So we should already be looking up. That's what the Bible says. So that's why I'm on here to tell you and remind you of that. Now, if you're lost, right now is the time. Let me tell you something. There's nothing better being with the Lord Jesus. He takes care of you. He's your best friend. He's everything. And I don't know how people make it without him. I know I couldn't. Now, listen, the time is limited. You know, we're here. It's like I'm here in Tennessee because I know we're getting close to being out of here. That's how much faith, and I, I know that we're in the last season. That's why. I would have never flown before, but I was even, you know, that didn't even bother me this time. I don't like to fly, but I know that's how close we are. It didn't even bother me this time. So listen to a guy I know. I'm just some guy you didn't know years ago, but now I've been on here for two years. But you're my family, and I want no one left behind. No one. I could have never made it to this point without you guys. You guys have been really important. You've adopted me, brought me into your household. You've all been kind and sweet. You've helped me and you supported the program. You've done everything, and God's going to bless you for it because you all have been absolutely amazing. Like I said, 
you all have been the family that I lost. And I appreciate that. God bless each and every one of you. I'm not going to keep you on here long. I just want to talk about that event, how this event is going to probably lead to a bigger event, which I think will be in the World War III. This is a distraction. The world is watching and our enemies are watching this. This is the time the sun could go wrong. So keep your eyes open. Not for all this craziness and not to be in fear, but be watching for the rapture of the church because it is the next event that's on its way. God bless each and every one of you. I'll be back on here tomorrow. Just keep me in your prayers and I'll keep you in my prayers. God bless each and every one of you for everything you do. Until next time, if I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.